water reaches the necessary depth, depending on vessel draft, the gates open and allow passage into the next chamber. Looking up at the viewing platforms where we were yesterday. This section of the canal is called the Miraflores Lake. Centennial Bridge, second spanning of the canal, is visible across Pedro Miguel Locks. Pedro Miguel Lock is a single lift, taking us to the Gatun Lake level. Here the south sill draft of 41.2 feet is a limiting factor on the existing canal. Looking back at the closing gate of Pedro Miguel Lock. Pedro Miguel has lifted us to the level of Gatun Lake, 85 feet above sea level. Note the cable suspension system of the Centennial Bridge. We pass the Arthusa Panama, now pulled over, waiting its turn through the narrow deep water section of the Culebra Cut. Now we enter the most difficult section of the Galliard or Culebra cut that broke the back of the French effort and sorely taxed the Americans. Historic photos showing excavation in the Culebra. Many of the 22,000 who died in the French efforts were buried here. Note the recent slide. Such earth movements complicated excavation and continue to require dredging. Meeting a super container ship. A Pelicano high speed tourboat snaps by us. Gamboa is a canal maintenance area on Gatun Lake. Gamboa Rail and Highway Bridge over the Chagres River Estuary. Giant Crane is called Hermann the German. It is one of three such units made in Germany during World War II. Following the defeat of the Nazis, the three units were moved to the major conquering powers. Hermann was brought to Long Beach where it was used to lift the Howard Hughes Spruce Goose. Later it was shipped to Panama to lift seven foot thick locks when they needed repair. The Isla Morada docked at Gamboa. <laughs> 